know, and we talked about Gary. How does, and, and Sam has led a whole bunch of different clubs. What's his approach to uh, leadership compared to some of these um, other fellows? Well, the, 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 the terminology you associate with Sam is a survivor. He uh, can, you can survive with which other club he's with in terms of making sure they don't get relegated. But there's a bit more to Sam than that. Um, what what time Sam brought to his clubs, and was one of the first to do this, was sports science. Mm -hmm. Sports science and, and video analysis. Um, going back to the Bolton days, what he, what he did with Bolton was quite incredible. Took him to Europe. But I always remember when, when you used to, after the game, when you went into Sam's office at Bolton, he had these half a dozen guys on video analysis either doing the game that had already been played or watching other games. Mm -hmm. So he was very, very strong into video analysis throughout the world. He was well ahead of his, his time in that respect. So that has been underplayed in terms of an, analyzing his, his contribution as a coach and manager. And um, he's been very strong in that. And because of that video analysis and he did at the time, um, he was able to pick up players who were just creeping towards the end of the career in, in, in abroad, like Djorkov, Djorkovic, uh, Akocho, Hierro, Campo, all European Cup winners, you know, mm -hmm. World Cup winners, Djorkovic was a World Cup winner. He was good at that. He was the best at that. And by doing that, he, he created a Bolton that was different from everyone ever thought they could do. So he's been underrated in that respect. And he's always going to be tagged with this surviving thing. Mm -hmm. And people do Unfair. It. It's unfair. You get yeah. pigeonholed at times, you know? Yeah. It's a bit unlucky. And 